Okay, so we essentially have three um, types of equine encephalitis, Eastern, Western, and Venezuelan. So typically when we're vaccinated horses and thinking about the presence of that disease, we always talk about Eastern and Western. Venezuelan is really only found in Central and South America, so it's not one that we typically are concerned about. However, recently there have been some reports of horses in Mexico with the Venezuelan equine encephalitis. Venezuelan does act a little bit differently than Eastern and Western encephalitis. So essentially Eastern and Western circulate within the bird and mosquito population, and then horses are a dead end host. And so we don't really get transmission from horse back to mosquito with Eastern and Western. Venezuelan, however, does cause high levels of viremia or viral load within horses, donkeys, and mules. So the difference with Venezuelan is that mosquitoes can actually pick up this virus from a horse and then transmit it on to other animals. So it does act a little bit different than Eastern and Western. The best prevention for all of our encephalitis is actually vaccination. So the standard one that we give, if, if we talk about vaccinations in horses, we talk about EWV. So the EWV is equi our Eastern, Western, and Venezuelan. So we do have vaccines that are available to prevent this disease. We have not had any cases reported um, in Oklahoma, but what we want people to be aware of because of how this virus does act, because horses can bring it up with them. So if we have reported cases in Mexico, we have a fair amount of horse traffic between Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma. And so it's possible that horses that have been exposed to it um, in Mexico can travel north, bring the virus with them, and that's where the mosquitoes can then pick it up.